Behind this gate, our aim is to take part in a ritual where we are forced to face our worst fears and hopefully defeat them by breaking through the barriers of our own defenses. This is Don Francisco, the local healer. He shall be our guide between the visible world and the spirit world. Daqui três dias está completando 94 anos. E ele não vai para o médico, não. O médico dele é o remédio que vocês viram aqui. E que está na panela fervendo ali. Yage, Mado, Mado Bidada Kamalampi, Nishi, Oni, a well-loved child has many names. At least 42 original tags for the substance are known. The actual tea is ceremonially boiled with this giant liana, Banisteriopsis kaapi, and the chakrona leaves, Psychotria viridis, as us biologists and uh, Dave of Attenborough call it. Aí eu tomei, me tornei um chamado que foi com meu pai. Aí nós passamos oito anos no mato, trabalhando, estudando, tomando remédio, estudando, ninguém comia sal, ninguém comia nada. Quando nós saímos de lá, eu saí com uma herta de chamada. The Amazon basin is home for 60 to 80,000 different plants, many still unknown for their medicinal potential. The medicine made of ayahuasca is said to heal both psychological and physiological problems, from heroin addiction to Parkinson's disease. Now try telling that to the medical industry, since this healer contains DMT, nature's own hypercharged psychedelic, with far more potent effects than, for example, LSD. White man's science doesn't recognize ayahuasca, because it offends Whiteman's laws. Tem visão de todos eles, todos com de plantas. É por isso que eu sei de remédio das plantas, porque eles me dizem, né? Olha, remédio tal, planta tal, serve para remédio tal, assim, assim. E aí a gente vai fazer, porque eles me ensinam. Obviously, some gringo hopheads growing interest in the namesake has created some mega business around ayahuasca. All sorts of jack legs and black legs and honest ones without any real shaman qualifications create dope tourism and exploit the spiritual reality the vine of the souls offers. But we, we are in the gentle hands of Don Francisco, who's been a shaman for decades, almost two lifetimes already. Tonight you are undergoing an ancient ritual with the world's most powerful psychedelic. Why are you doing this? Fear. Comfort breeds fear. And as we have already started our maybe weirdest world tour ever, we won't have a lot of comforts around us, so it's better to get rid of the fear as well. I'm scared of this. It's said to be a purifying experience. Sometimes horrifying, but cathartic. I want to see what my subconsciousness hides. It's a strong hallucinogenic. I'm afraid of going nuts. I've heard that you just have to face your fears. If there is a head of a or mouth of snake, you just have to dive in. See you on the other side. Everything was pretty much normal until the lights were put off. <laughs> I felt nausea all the time I, and I really wanted to puke, but I just couldn't puke. You should get rid of, rid of the stuff, but it just kept being inside me. It was very fast, it was very fast. On the side of the hut I saw owl and it was guarding the whole place. Then came the dragons, like a big storm and they were ha having already like big teeth and, and sharp as needle. And then there was this certain loop from my childhood. There was thousands and thousands and thousands of other visions all the time going like this, but I, I went all the time back to this. I don't recognize where are they from, but these like witches with like also needle sharp teeth uh, shaped as like really sharp diamonds. The thing what I thought all the time was that you know I'm, I'm becoming nuts and that's what you shouldn't feel, you just should let it go. 
But letting letting it go just took me for ages. No niin vittu ajattu ajatuksessa ne että en ollut koskaan näin vittu paljon. Mä painajais maista vittu. But then slowly slowly because of the singing I could actually start to let loose. I was in a storm of of visions and thoughts and but I felt just curious to watch those hor- horrible things. They were not they were not scaring me at all. I didn't have any any scary things. Even 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 the, the most horrifying part was seeing my mother mother dead. And uh, the body rotting also. It's natural. We all will die. I will die. Everyone I love will die someday. So I saw, saw the shaman telling me that be brave, keep your head up. And I've always been a little bit shy person. In the in the meantime, I could also think about liberate myself from the necessity of being brave. That was actually the main thing. I could get rid of any necessities. <laughs> Miks se se vittu tuli? Mun pumppu hakkaa niin vittu pykedellä. Mun lukemiin et vittu hukkuu. Mulla on niinku vitu pelattavaa. Näin pelattavaa se mestas mä en ollu koskaan. Kai tää menee täs vittu paremmaa. It will get over. Couple of minutes. No, I knew all the time that I'm searching my subconsciousness. I knew, I, I knew it. And uh, the most beautiful thing I, I saw my kid born. No, I, actually, she was already two. She. Mm. Still on? It's still on. Well, you look a lot better. Pretty tough, pretty intense. Uh, the most horrifying experience I could ever imagine to have. Pure hell. This world looks definitely better than the old one. <laughs> That's for sure. Before the moral majority starts foaming at the mouth about another street drug invading the world from South America, no worries. Ayahuasca has nothing to do with that shit, nor could it ever be a recreational drug. It's a medicine of the indigenous tribes here and an ancient method of therapy, still mostly undiscovered by the Western science. Madventure says, Respect all things natural. <laughs>